How's it going, everyone? So it's back to work time. Uh, next order of um, cores showed up. I've got another 10 of those. Um, okay, so these guys showed up. I have four of them I ordered. Three of them showed up, and then the final one showed up destroyed. So I crazy glued it back together, and we're going to see how that works. Um, and... Uh, I have some very awesome arrangements here. We're not even going to get into that because that's just too awesome. Okay, so what's the suitcase device? What, a bifiller primary across the pair of those? I don't know. Anyways, these guys showed up. Check them out. These are the nanocrystalline, uh, amorphous nanocrystalline, 40 kilowatt cores. I only got two to test them. And uh, so I was talking to the manufacturer because I was about to order another 13 of them. And uh, the guy tells me the price went up. And I'm like, what do you mean the price went up? 30%. Like, ouch. They're already expensive to start with, but you add another 30% on there? Ay, ay, ay. Anyways, they're here. So, uh... You know, there's 80 kilowatt core right there. Uh, if you wanted 200 kilowatts, well, you'd put four of those together. You'd wrap it around. Uh, the damn cores would cost almost a thousand bucks blank for uh, a 200 kilowatt unit. But uh, right, then you'd wind your uh, primary coil probably around three quarters of the core, as much as you can get on there. Uh, for your transformer action, and then you could put multiple secondaries on paired partnered uh, coils, opposite partnered paired. <laughs> uh, you know, one in this direction, one in the other direction, center tapped, and two outputs. Uh, you could put a number of those on there to accommodate whatever you wanted. That's the goal with those. So I'm going to get to ordering some more of them. Um, these coils are just awesome, like just totally uh, unlimited. Uh, not that the other ones are limited, but those ones are completely unlimited. All right, well, we'll go over here through the junk. All right, we'll give you this update too. I'm getting re ready to mount, uh, to mount these uh, stage one devices. So I got some cutting board plastic. Uh, you just go, go to Walmart, grab a, this is a Rubbermaid. I think it's rubber made. Uh, maybe not. No, it's something else. Anyways, Walmart, they're like 25 bucks or something. Uh, so I was going to mount this, you know, earth ground capacitor, transformer, ZVS meter. I have this turned because of the potentiometer because uh, there's actually two parts to this. I'm going to offer these available mounted uh, for 1500 US. Uh, plus shipping, uh, and and uh, the device will be uh, two of these, everything mounted. This is the second half of it here, so most of it anyways. And then this uh, piece here, if I ever get it in my hand, oh, it's heavy, heavy, heavy one hand. It's going to stack on top of that, so then you'll have the device like this. And that's a stage one ready to go out to the capacitors, which... That's a whole nother circumstance. I'm having a hell of a time getting these capacitors here that I want to charge with this. The damn, I've, I've ordered three orders, so 30 of these damn capacitors. The first one, uh, he canceled the order. It expired. The time zone, oh, I'm going to need 20 days more. I'm like, you fucking dick, get to work. The fuck are you selling something you don't have, jackass? <sighs> so fine. Uh, two days ago, he cancels my other order. I'm like, you fucking prick. I'm going to shove my fist right up your fucking ass. So, <laughs> and today I canceled the third order. I, I said, fuck you, buddy. So I went right to the manufacturer and uh, I ordered 50 of them. So we're not fucking around. I'm going to wire them the cash, get the damn shit here before the damn shit can't get here. And the next thing I got to get are those caps. So I also have these transformers showed up a while ago. I didn't bother showing them because I was kind of really disappointed with the I mean I haven't even ran them yet but just just the appearance 
everything about them kind of disappointing. Uh, they are the three wires. These are laser, CO2 laser power supply transformers. Uh, they do have a bobbin. Eh, you know, they're okay. I have a design for this as well, and uh, we'll get to that at some point. And uh, the design's much, much better than the, the transformer. <laughs> I'll, I'll just say that. So it's like this, but better. So, uh, and it uses two three-wire transformers in that arrangement. So something like this, um, and, uh, and uh, uh, one side is the earth ground combination and the resonant transformer combination. The other side is the uh, disruptive discharge. So these would both get rectified DC into your cap. This is your ground. This would go, um, you'd want to put a full wave or something here. You'd want to, you want to rectify this properly so that the two of these can work together. And then you've got your resonance and your disruptive discharge. And if you put the right value capacitor here so that um, every time this is going up and then down one complete cycle, this discharges up and it discharges down. So you want it in tandem with what's going on with the resonance with whatever value capacitor it takes to do that at high voltage. And that is going to cause this, this coil that's in resonance, it's going to cause this to be blown off on the, on the top of the peak and blown off on the bottom. And blown off and blown off and blown off and blown off while it's in resonance. And those blow offs like that are gonna land in, the, in your output capacitor because in the second that it's blown off, from the disruptive discharge from the resonating energy you're it's resonating and you're just banging some energy in, and literally causing it to be radiated into the atmosphere when that collapses it's coming right back right into the core and then out to your done so a massive improvement there's the uh, driver for that these will be made available too i have enough to build uh, five of these machines um like I said, uh, another batch of those cores showed up. I, I'm waiting for these. The damn post office sent them back like so long ago. So they've got to come back from China. They should be here uh, sometime. I ordered uh, 10 of those. Um, <laughs> it's just problem after problem. I ordered 15 of these there the other day and they're damaged. <laughs> so they've been shipped back. So I've got to reorder them again. It's just on and on nonstop headaches and hiccups but you know what we're going to get there because i ain't going to quit so there's the mounted uh, or soon to be mounted unit we're going to assemble that we're going to work on that we'll come back over to this and uh, this unit here so something like this right you want to see the suitcase device right this is, this is a three kilowatt zvs i have a bunch of them as well and um, uh, so you just you know you know you wrap that around this is like your uh squished donut i got one of them too but it's not in here right now and uh except this is ferrite so uh and this runs in resonance so we don't need any of the other nonsense and uh, we're just going to raise the voltage up nice and high here and uh, this would take place of well whatever you want to do with it there's lots of different things you can do with that but that's uh um this here, I've, I've arranged this transformer so that it's just like the others. It's center tapped here and then two high sides. And then the high sides are, you know, earth ground and uh, resonance. And then if I had a second one like this, like the original plan was to stick another unit here. Not with this plastic on it, obviously. And, uh, you know, the cross section is huge. And then you'd wind your, uh, your primary instead of over this yeah, right here <laughs> and uh there you go you've got uh my advanced transformer all right guys have a great day uh if you want the mounted ones like i said they are going to be fifteen hundred dollars plus shipping because uh, these things are going to start getting heavy once i put it all together and i don't know what the shipping will be probably a hundred dollars depends where it's going uh and that's the other thing from China. Shipping is getting really, really expensive. They're, they're really gouging me on the shipping here to Canada, and I don't know why. So I only hope that we can get more parts. I am looking at, uh, we'll go back over here one more time. 
building these transformers because that like I said that core showed up broken and uh, oh, this one-handed business but we'll get it we get it come here all right so looking at getting a 3d printer to crank these bobbins out really not much to it then I can just wind it how I want it and uh, uh, put them on any way I want so uh, yeah great all right uh, and if I don't get a 3d printer we'll just uh, a hole saw crank them out it ain't no big deal these cores are expensive like they're expensive they're like like this transformer shipped was was not bad but um, the cost of the core material is more than three quarters of the cost of the transformer by itself that's why I bought them already assembled but uh, if they're going to show up like this, I, I just don't even want it. I just don't. Why, why buy junk? I might as well just buy the core and build it myself. All right, guys. That's it. Have a great day. Ciao.